Let us solve the equation x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and x plus y equal to 2 simultaneously. So we got two number of equation x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's call this one to be equation 1 and x plus y equal to 2. Let's call this to be equation 2 and we want to solve those two equations simultaneously. There are several methods of solving it. One of them is we try to express x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 in term of x plus y and simply write x plus y equal to 2. Let's do it. By equation 1, x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So equation 1 we are given x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, as we said, we want to express it in term of x plus y. So, we know that formula that a square plus b square equal to a plus b whole thing square minus 2ab. But we see we don't have exact expression as such. But x to the power 4 can be written as x square whole thing square and y to the power 4 can be written as y square whole thing square equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, we write it as it is. Now, we can use the formula a square plus b square equal to a plus b whole thing square minus 2ab. Let's use it. So, a square plus b square, x square whole thing square, so x square plus y square whole thing square, a plus b whole thing square minus 2ab minus 2 into x square into y square equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, still we are not getting x plus y, but if we apply the formula once again, we'll get it. Again, we apply the same formula, a square plus b square can be written as a plus b whole thing square, so x plus y whole thing square minus 2xy rest of the expression we copy as it is x square plus y square we are writing it x plus y whole thing square minus 2xy rest of the expression we are copying as it is minus 2xy whole thing square and then equal to 1 2 3 4 okay now we are given x plus y equal to 2 However, by equation 2, x plus y equal to 2. You see, x plus y equal to 2. So, instead of x plus y, let's simply write 2. So, 2 square minus 2xy, whole thing square minus 2 into xy, whole thing square equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, can we solve for x, y from this expression? Of course, yes. Let's do it. 2 square is 4. 4 square is 16. Plus 2x, y whole thing square. That's equal to 4 into x, y square. Minus 2 a, b. So, 2 into 4 into 2. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 into 2 is 16. 16 x, y minus 2 x, y whole thing square equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. You see that 4 number of xy whole thing square minus 2 number of xy whole thing square gives us 2 number of xy whole thing square minus 16 xy as it is plus 16 minus 1, 2, 3, 4 equal to 0. Uh, we can take two common. 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 16 is 1, 2, 1, 8. And if we divide 1, 2, 1, 8 by 2, then we get 9, uh, sorry, 6, 0, 9. 6, 0, 9. Now, 2 cannot be equal to 0, so it must have that. x, y, whole thing square minus 8, x, y minus 609 equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. So we apply splitting the middle term method. 
in order to apply that we just need to factorize 609 is divisible by 3 and we get 203 again 203 is divisible by 7 and we get 29 and 29 into 1 is 29 now you see that we want difference uh, to be 8 and product to be 609 you see 7 3 if 7 into 3 is 21 and 21 minus 29 is minus 8 so we are done so we can write this expression is xy whole thing square we want to split the middle term so minus 8 we write it is 21 minus 29 x y as it is we have splitted the middle term 21 minus 29 is minus 8 and then 21 into minus 29 is 609 equal to 0 we copy as it is next of course now we can factorize it so x y whole thing square plus 21 times x y minus 29 times x y minus 21 into 29 equal to 0 take x y common we take x y common we will be left out with x y plus 21 Next, we take minus 29 common, minus 29 common, again we will be left out with xy plus 21 equal to 0, copy as it is. Now we see that, pro okay, we, we, say we can again take xy plus 21 common, xy plus 21 common, and then xy minus 29 left out and equal to 0 we copy as it is now we see that product of two number equal to 0 then one of them has to be equal to 0 so xy plus 21 equal to 0 or xy minus 29 equal to 0 take 21 to the right hand side so xy equal to minus 21 take 29 to the right hand side so xy equal to 29 so far so good we have been able to determine x y they are either equal to minus 21 or 29 but we want to find x plus y further we have done we have by equation 2 that x plus y equal to 2 let's write that so we got x y equal to minus 21 and x plus y equal to 2 let's consider case 1 so we got two different values of x y minus 21 and plus 29 so case one we consider x y equal to minus 21 of course x plus y equal to 2 in both the cases now can we find x minus y from here we know that x minus y equal to square root of x plus y whole thing square minus 4xy okay x plus y is 2 so 2 is square minus 4 into xy and xy is minus 21 we can take 4 common and root 4 is just 2 and 1 plus root 21 sorry root over 1 plus 21 so 2 root 22 of course it can be plus minus when we have root that we have plus minus so you got x minus y equal to plus minus 2 times root 22 but we are x plus y is just equal to 2 let's add equation 3 and 4 so adding equation 3 and 4 y and minus y will get cancelled so 2x equal to 2 plus minus 2 times root 22 so x equal to 1 1 plus minus root 22 if I substitute x equal to 1 plus minus root 22, y will turn out to be 2 minus x. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Instead of plus minus, let's write pl minus plus root 22. Therefore, you see that x comma y has to be of opposite sign. So x comma y equal to 1 plus root 22 comma 
1 minus root 22 they have to be of opposite sign or 1 minus root 22 comma 1 plus root 22. So that was the case corresponding to x y equal to minus 21. But we have x y equal to 29 as well. So we consider the second case x y equal to 29 x plus y equal to 2. So by formula x minus y equal to plus minus square root of x plus y whole thing square minus 4 times x y and that's plus minus square root of x plus y is 2 so 2 e square is 4 minus 4 into 29 oh we don't get real number we get complex numbers so we take 2 out 1 minus root 29 that's minus 28 28 is uh, 4 into 7 so 2 into root 7 into i so in this case if we are restricting ourselves to real numbers then no real solution for second case but maybe we will allow complex as well then we will get real imaginary roots x plus y equal to 2 that is by given equation 2 now let's solve this Let's call this to be equation 5 and this one to be equation 6. So adding equation 5 and 6, y and minus y will get cancelled. x plus y, x will get 2x equal to 2 plus minus 4 into root 7i. Again, we can cancel 2 out. So we'll be left out x plus minus 2 into root 7i. So from there, we will get y equal to uh, we take x to the other side so minus x 2 minus 1 is 1 and instead of plus minus we'll get minus plus 2 into root 7i therefore x comma y equal to 1 plus 2 into root 7i comma 1 minus 2 into root 7i or 1 minus 2 into root 7i comma 1 plus 2 into root 7i and we are done.